If you would have supplied one Kusama to the Moon River KSM auction slots, you would have received 14 Moon River tokens airdropped. The current price reward you would have had by now for supplying that one Kusama is $5,622. This is the current price of Moon River. This is why we can't sleep on parachain auctions and we especially can't sleep on the upcoming Polkadot parachain auctions. So we have an official date for the first Polkadot parachain slot, which is November the 11th. This is a huge milestone for Polkadot and for dot holders everywhere. So what are the parachain slots? What are crowd loans? How do I get involved? How do I participate? What are the risks? What are the benefits? This video is going to give you everything that you need to know about participating in the parachain slots for Polkadot. So firstly, regardless of whether you plan on participating in the auction slots or not, it's going to be a big event regardless. It's got some big backers such as Binance supporting this whole entire thing. And also, it's very obvious that it's going to push past these all-time highs for two main reasons. Firstly, people that don't own DOT, they're going to be buying up a lot of DOT in order to participate. And then secondly, people are going to be unstaking their DOT and they're going to be moving that DOT to these crowd loans. And this means that there's going to be a lot of DOT that's going to be untouchable for about two years, which is going to create a little bit of a, of a supply shock. Okay, so what are crowd loans? So these are essentially a new way for cryptocurrencies to receive funding. And this is a really clever way, instead of just having projects with like a lot of money, just push for having a parachain slot, it's almost getting community backing. So this is where a crowd of people will provide their DOT tokens to a project that they believe in, and then they will bid for that parachain slot. So projects are bidding and they're requiring the crowdsourcing from us. So we as an investor, we would purchase DOT tokens or supply the DOT tokens that we already have to the projects that we think and we want on the parachain. Okay, so how do these auction slots work? So similar to other auction bids or whatever, projects with the highest bids will win the slots. And it's really interesting how they're doing this. So there's something called candle auctions, which was historically a 16th century way that people would bid for, sh for ships. And basically they would light a candle and then when that candle was completely burnt out, the person with the highest bid would, would take the ship. So there's going to be a randomized set of time. Obviously, they're not going to just burn a candle, um, but there's going to be a randomized set of time for this bidding time frame. So that's the way that they're going to do it. And then once that randomized time is exceeded, the person with the highest bid will win the slot. Two years is the maximum amount of time that a project can hold a parachain slot. So therefore, once these two years is over, they're going to have to reapply through another crowd loan and get onto the parachain slot again. And I really like this for a bunch of reasons. Firstly, because cryptocurrency moves so fast, this whole entire industry moves so quickly, things become really popular and valued and then things move out of the scene very quickly also. So this is going to keep everything fresh and updated and make sure that the community is getting projects that they really value and like. For example, if you have a project on the parachain and the community loves it, then they can just reapply. They will get the, the loans from the crowd and they can provide that value to people and get on the slot again for the parachain. But if the community doesn't really like a certain project, if they're not really getting much out of it, then they can get them out and they can replace it with a project that probably is going to give more value to people and people see more future in. So just keep in mind that there are only 100 parachain slots available. So why would you want to do this? Why would you want to participate in one of these crowd loans and give away your DOT tokens for two years? Well, there are two main reasons why people would be doing this and why you may want to do this. But before I get into it, please make sure you hit the like button, leave me a comment, let me know what you think of this video so far. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can always get updates when we make videos. Okay, so firstly, because you really want a project to get on the parachain. You might really like, for example, Akala, you might really value that project and want it specifically on the parachain. So obviously you wanna support them getting the slot. Secondly, because you wanna make money, because you wanna make money off the airdrops. Now, as we saw with the KCM, if you supplied your KCM to Moon River, you would be up per KCM $5,000. So you can definitely benefit from these airdrops, like considering the fact that a lot of these projects are gonna go up in price once they hit that slot, 
once they get on the parachain. So these are the reasons why a lot of people want to be a part of this. These are the reasons why people love the community and want to make sure that their projects are in the slot. Maybe, maybe you, it's a bit of column A and a bit of column B for you, but whatever it is, just make sure that like you really vibe the project. And I really recommend doing a lot of research into these projects before you dedicate your DOT tokens. Okay, so things to remember when you do this. The minimum amount of DOT that you have to provide is five DOT tokens or 0.1 KCM. Your tokens get locked up for two years, which means you can't access those tokens for that two year period, but you'll be airdropped the native tokens consecutively or periodically, depending on what cryptocurrency project that you decide to loan your tokens out to. And I'll go into that in a second. But for example, if Akala or ACA ticker skyrockets, then you can make a lot of money off just selling those once you get them airdropped to you. Okay, guys, so just to give you an idea of how the airdrop is going to work, because you're not going to receive just like straight up all of your airdropped native tokens of the project that you supplied your dot tokens to. So this is what happened with the Kusama parachain slots. So it's probably going to be quite similar to what's going to happen with Polkadot. So just to kind of give you an idea with Moon River, if you had supplied your Kusama to Moon River, 30% of the token reward pool would have been released immediately after Moon River had successfully launched and commenced its transfer functions. The remaining 70% of the token reward pool will be released within the lease terms, 48 weeks. MEXC will distribute mover auction rewards once every two weeks. But for example, with Bitfrost, if you supplied your KCM to Bitfrost, the Bitfrost latest reward distribution is 1 KSM to 22 BNC, 50% is unlocked at TGE, and the rest, 50%, will vest linearly in 48 weeks. Users who supported Bitfrost Kusama slot auction on MEXC will share a total prize pool of 5,000 BNC. So you can see that they kind of differ slightly. But this is kind of like the general uh, distribution or the general uh, airdropping that's going to happen over a periodic amount of time if that project wins the auction slots. So how do you participate in this whole entire thing? You need to go to the Parachain Auction Slots website, which I will leave a link in the description below. Apply for the waitlist. You will receive an email with requirements to participate. You need to create a Polkadot account and connect your Polkadot.js wallet. And just keep in mind that if you want to get these native tokens for these projects, you don't necessarily need to participate in these auctions. You can just go and buy those tokens once they do hit the exchanges. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so just to really quickly run through the whole process of how this thing operates, works. So you go to the parachains.info website, which again, the link is in the description below. I picked a Kala. I love this project. It has so much like future opportunity that I see. So I clicked join waitlist. And then once I clicked that, I was taken to this website where I had to enter my email in order to join this waitlist. Now I soon received an email from them, which gave more instructions of what to actually do. So there are five quests in order to be a part of this whole crowd loan and receive your coins. So the first two quests I have done out of the five. So number one is to create a Polkadot account and connect your wallet. Quest two is to verify your email to receive updates on quests. Quest three is to prepare your wallet by becoming a dot holder. Quest four is to contribute your dot to the Akala crowd loan and earn ACA. Quest five is to claim your NFT and ACA rewards. So this is kind of how like the whole process works and they kind of like buckle it down into different activities that you need to complete or do, which I really like. Okay, so let's go through some of the pros and cons of participating in these parachain auctions. Starting with the pros, let's get into it. So firstly, you will receive all of your DOT tokens back after the two year period. Now, if the parachain is a success and it gets highly utilized by the crypto community, then most likely after that two year period, your Polkadot's gonna be worth a lot more money. So that's something to keep in mind. If you dedicate your DOT tokens to a project that doesn't win the slot, you will get all of your DOT tokens back. So importantly, you receive that airdrop if the project that you dedicated your tokens to 
does win the slot, you receive that airdrop. And as we saw with KCM and Moon River, it can potentially be worth a lot of money. So you also might get a big buzz from getting one of your favorite projects on the parachain. So if there's like a, a project that you really love, that you really want on the parachain, you dedicate your tokens and it, and it wins a slot, that's an awesome thing for you. And that's an awesome thing for the community of that project. And lastly, because DOT's price is more than likely to move upwards in the next few months, a lot of people are gonna be buying DOT as we saw with KCM. KCM moved upwards significantly once their auction slots began. So it wouldn't be a surprise to see the same thing with Polkadot. Okay, so let's go through the cons of participating in the crowd loans. So firstly, you are foregoing staking rewards of around 12 to 15%. So I got into DOT very early and I bought a bunch of it and I started staking it straight away on Kraken and it has been a really good lucrative way to make passive income on my, my DOT tokens. So I would be foregoing all my staking rewards and also you would be foregoing selling your DOT when it reaches all time high. So say, you know, DOT goes to $100 or $200 or whatever it might be, you can't take profits on the, the DOT tokens that you supplied to the crowd loan. So also DOT is inflationary, which isn't great. Inflation is designed at around 10% annually. Also the DOT that you supply to one of the projects that you want to win the slot might not even win the slot. Um, and also you get distributed the airdrop tokens periodically, as I showed you before. Maybe you want those tokens straight away. Maybe you need the money straight away. Like, I don't know how strapped for cash you might be, but that's something to keep in mind that you're not gonna get airdrop these tokens, just all of them straight away. It's gonna be a periodic thing. So you really need to keep that in mind. Some advice to my viewers. I appreciate you all. Firstly, if you're gonna allocate your DOT tokens to one of these projects, I highly recommend doing your research. Find out the founders behind these projects, the community, what value is it gonna bring to the parachain? How is it gonna provide utility? These are really important questions that you need to find the answer to. Next, I want you to ask yourself two questions. Do you think the crowd loan airdrop is going to outperform the staking rewards you would get for your DOT tokens over that two year period? Or do you think that the crowd loan airdrop will outperform the profit taking that you'll get on your DOT in this bull run? So they're two questions that you really need to ask yourself. Then I also want you to think about the fact that if parachains are a success, DOT has so much long-term potential even past this bull run. So at the end of the two year period, if a lot of people are using parachains and you know, I'm not a blockchain maximalist, I think the future is parachain. So I do see DOT moving higher in the long run. But lastly, my final advice is don't put all of your DOT into crowd loans. D diversification is an integral part of investing. I highly recommend not doing that. Allocate a portion that you're comfortable with to allocate into these crowd loans and then just go with that. Thanks for watching today's video. I'll see you next time.